the soil that we sit on, this soil that we build on, the soil that we walk on, the soil that was used to form this human skin that looks so beautiful on us, it carries a countless number of dead bodies. And that is when Adam learned that, oh, Eve, mama, we are naked. Eve on the other side also realized that she was naked. And they started looking for clothes. Hey. A long time ago, when the world was newly created, God, who is the supreme creator, made Adam out of his own image and placed him in the Garden of Eden. And from Adam, a woman was created and she was named Eve. Adam and Eve lived in the Garden of Eden where God provided for them everything they never lacked. They had food, they had security, they had a shelter, everything was well catered for. And it is in those days that man used to live together with animals. And not only animals, but wild animals. Those were the days when man and lions were friends. Elephants and, you know, human beings were best of friends. A tiger and a giraffe why friends with human beings? All the wild animals you know were friends with human beings. And it is because of that closeness, that freedom, that man sinned against God. Because despite being given all these privileges in the Garden of Eden, God told them, you can eat from any tree in this garden except for the tree that lies in the center of this garden. Whoa. So after God had placed this particular instruction to human beings, somebody was seated somewhere and he listened and decided to go against God's will. And this person was none other than Lucifer, who today we call Satan. Satan was once an angel in heaven, a very, very powerful praise and worship leader. He created the songs that were sung before God in heaven. You know, God, our creator, the Bible tells us he loves praises. He loves songs of praises. When you sing praises to him, you make him happy. He stands on the seat of the throne and he dances to our lovely tunes simply because he loves praises. Lucifer was the leader of praise and worship. Satan could sing so, so well. He was gifted with a voice that cannot be compared to any other voice in this world. When he realized that he was a great singer and everyone respected him because of his uh, ability to sing so well and so lovely, he decided to allow pride get into him. And when pride got into him, he felt like he could overpower God, who is the supreme creator. <laughs> so he wanted people to start worshipping him. He wanted people to start adoring him. He wanted people to start praising him and not praising God who created even him. God who was there, who existed before any other being. And because of that, God got angry with Lucifer and threw him out of heaven. And when he threw him out of heaven, Satan found himself on earth in the world where we live in today. And because the Bible clearly tells us that the home for sinners is hell. And in hell, people will burn eternally. You will burn forever. 
Satan decided that he will not go to hell alone. And that explains why he has been luring people of God into sin. So it was at this particular moment when Satan uh, was walking around the Garden of Eden where Adam and Eve were and Satan got into one of the animals and this was the snake. The Bible calls the snake serpent. So as Adam and Eve were doing their things in the Garden of Eden, Eve decided to go and, you know, just have a natural walk on his own while Adam was also on his own way. And Satan learned the secrets of man. He knew if uh, he wanted to hurt uh, Adam, then he would use the woman that God created. And so Satan, through the snake, went to Eve and told Eve, uh -huh. Eve, I understand that God has told you that you can eat from any tree in this garden except for this tree that you see here. And since Eve was a friendly woman, you know, women naturally are friendly, Eve decided to tell Satan, Stop! See, you now know the truth. Why are you trying to play games with me? And Satan told her again, Eve, what if I told you that God lied to you? Do you know if you eat uh, from that tree, eh, you will be as wise as God? And Eve, since she was, you know, she trusted the animals they lived within this farm, she fell into the trap of Satan. And she ended up eating from the fruit that God warned them against. And after doing so, she decided to carry, you know, some of these apple fruits from this tree and take to her husband, Adam. And where after Adam had eaten these fruits, things started happening strange to them. And that is when Adam learned that, oh, Eve, Mama, we are naked. Eve on the other side also realized that she was naked. And they started looking for clothes. Hey, this garden they were created, they were staying naked. They used to walk naked. They used to operate naked. Just like every other animal in this garden. Snakes were naked, they didn't wear clothes. Giraffes were walking naked, they didn't wear clothes. Elephants were walking naked. Hippopotamus were always naked. Everybody was naked, including human beings. But after they ate from this forbidden fruit, they learned that they were naked. And they had to start looking for ways to cover their private parts. I am sure at this time, the human brain started overthinking. Adam started asking himself, Eve, why is it that your chest has two round, you know? those lovely things on the chest and for me i don't have them why and i'm sure eve was also asking herself adam why are you having that stick there and uh, you know me i don't have it i have not given it so they started becoming curious and you know to stop all this curiosity they had to cover their nakedness and they used leaves to cover their private parts as well as Eve covered her, you know, her breasts using these leaves. And as usual, as God was walking in the Garden of Eden, he called Adam, Adam, my son, where are you? And Adam said, Lord, we are naked. And God asked him, how did you know that you were naked? Did you eat from the tree that I warned you not to eat from? And instead of Adam to explain himself as a gentleman, Adam said, the woman you gave me, Lord. He started blaming the woman that God gave him. And from that point, God got so angry with human beings and he sent them out of the Garden of Eden and he punished them severely. It was from that day that God said, man will have to dig the soil. He will have to sweat to eat. And for woman, woman was meant to carry pregnancy. And from that pregnancy, he will feel pain while giving birth. 
the punishments were so severe. And you remember initially in the Garden of Eden, they were given eternal life. But when they were sent out of this garden, now man started dying. It was at that particular point when Adam and Eve started having sexual intercourse with one another. And they had two children, Cain and Abel. Cain killed his brother Abel because of jealousy. When he realized that God was going to bless his brother, his small brother, he decided to end his life. And that is the way death started. Abel was the first person to die. And after on, people started dying. Time after time, people died. And people died for various reasons. Some killed each other, just as Cain killed his brother Abel. Some died because of sicknesses. Some committed suicide. Some, you know, died. People died from various reasons. Until today, people have been dying. Our loved ones have died. They've left us alone. They've gone. The soil that we sit on, this soil that we build on, the soil that we walk on, the soil that was used to form this human skin that looks so beautiful on us, it carries a countless number of dead bodies. People die. If only Adam accepted the mistake that he did and he apologized before God, probably today we couldn't be dying. But now that he didn't, we all have to die. And at one given point, we as human beings will stop breathing. A human being is born and grows up to be a human being and after a while dies. And after death, we all shall rise one day, as the Bible clearly puts it, on the judgment day. We will all rise again to be judged before God, our Creator. And on the judgment day, all the things we did, whether good or bad, we shall answer before God, who will be the judge. So my story today explains why people die. And that is the reason why in this video I want to acknowledge all our beloved people who have died and are no longer with us today. My father being one of them. He died when I was only two years old. Long time ago. We've lost so many people. We've lost our parents. We've lost our brothers. We've lost our sisters. We've lost our, uh, you know, lovers. We've lost very beautiful people and handsome people to death. And since they're gone, they've never come back. May their beautiful souls rest in eternal peace. Do not feel discouraged. God is always with you. And until next time, always work hard and be nice to people. This is Divine Empire. End of discussion.